Welcome brothers and sisters. Welcome to a new video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Past Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is The New Judas Iscariot Betrayal to Rome Brothers and Sisters We know and understand so many of the revelation of the Lord that there will be a cutting off of Jesus in the midst of trumpets. And this will be for the sacrifice to the house of Judah so that that stick can also be brought in into the Millennium Kingdom. As there was a betrayal in his first coming, so will there be a betrayal in the second coming. And what I will show you in this two-parter of the series of the new Judas Iscariot will shock many and it is so amazing and so unbelievable but the scripture are telling us that this is the truth. There will be a new Judas Iscariot and he will be the one that will betray the Lord in the midst of trumpets to Rome so that the sacrifice of the bull as a high priest will be done for the house of Judah. And what we saw in the first coming, that painful moment will come again. The mission of the Lord will be cut off midst of trumpets and the moment when Satan has lost the war in the heavens and when he will come down then Jesus will go up. Brothers and sisters, what I will to show you in the next video, you must take it to the Lord. It's a brand new revelation and a new understanding and so unbelievable and so prosper so so out of out out of range of any teaching of the church or anyone else. But nevertheless I will prove it in the scripture that it is the truth. And we must make ourselves strong, who are called as harvest workers, and maybe as the 144,000, not to fall into this trap. It is an amazing revelation that the Lord has given. Right in time, just in the moment when we enter our 222 season, when we enter our destiny and purpose for the Father. He is warning us ahead of time that this is going to happen. There will be a second betrayal to Rome. But who will betray him this time? In the first coming it was Judas Iscariot. He was a disciple and he was an apostle of the Lord. He was very close and he was sitting with him on the same table and he was receiving all the knowledge and he saw all the grandeur and all the splendor of the kingdom of God through Jesus. He saw all the wisdom and all the knowledge and all the miracles also. And still, at the end, he betrayed Jesus. But when we look at this story about Judas Iscariot's first coming, then we know that neither in the Gospel of Luke nor in the Gospel of Mark, but only in the Gospel of Matthew, it is mentioned that Judas, Judas Iscariot received an amount of money. And we know very clearly that the Gospel of Matthew is for the Jews and for the 
Trumpet Tribulation Period. So we have our first pointer. Someone is losing his, his way, midst of trumpets, when Satan comes down onto the earth or around that time frame and he falls for his temptations that the most likely Satan will promise him the whole world as he has tempted Jesus in the first place. Remember the 40 days in the desert. So he will come against one person midst of trumpets. That person will fall for the vanity of the world in the trumpets and will fall for the promises of the dragon of Satan. It is only mentioned in Matthew and the Gospel of Matthew is for the trumpet tribulation period. So it is all about riches, it is all about being famous, it is all about power. That's the reason why we have a second betrayal. This time not to the Jews, this time a betrayal to Rome. Why Rome? Because at that time the, he, Jesus will be betrayed to the false prophet. Because it is a false prophet that will come out alive out of the war against the mountain, Second Esther chapter 13. Not the false prophet will be destroyed, but the first beast will be destroyed. The Antichrist of the seals will be destroyed. And so the false prophet sitting in Rome will make a case against Jesus that will lead to his cutting off from this world and to return to the Father on Mount Zion above the world because the rest of the Lamb and the rest of the one who sits on the throne, that's the Father, they have come at the sixth seal. Jesus will then come from Mount Zion for the first half of trumpets to Jerusalem to build the wall, the city and the temple. In the next video, we will dig, dig deep into Scripture, Revelation 17, Revelation 13, and John 17, verses 10 to 15. We see, we'll see who will be the one that will betray. Why? And why it matters so much that we have the revelation right now. To prepare our hearts and our soul and our minds against the temptation of Satan. Because this is the time when everything will start. And it will lead to the midpoint. And then this one person from a very special group will fall into the hands of of Satan. There will be a new Judas Iscariot and there will be a betrayal to Rome. Why? So that all the scriptures will be fulfilled. And that is exactly what Jesus has said. This one person must be lost so that the scriptures will be fulfilled. It is time for a new revelation that will touch us more and that has more a revelation towards us, the harvest workers and the ones becoming the 144,000 than you ever might imagine. It is one of the mysteries of the kingdom of God that was never revealed before. But now you will see it. As in plain as the, as the day, you will see it right in front of your eyes. And once you have listened to the second video, you will know not exactly the name and the person, but you know from where he will come, why he is doing it, and what will become out of him. The new Judas Iscariot will be revealed. The betrayal to Rome will be manifested. The cutting off 
is declared, integrated, and in some dimension and realities already fulfilled. This will be the second betrayal. Not for the house of Israel, that is already done, but for the house of Judah, so that the sacrifice of the bull for the high priest, for Melchizedek, will be fulfilled. Brothers and sisters, understand that there will be a new Judas Iscariot and a new betrayal, this time to Rome and to the false prophet. We, we will not be standing in fear for what will going to happen. We are prepared well. The Lord had said all this must come to pass. We will not act as Peter and say, Oh, no, Lord, it cannot happen. But we say it must happen so that all the scripture will be fulfilled. And only through the sacrifices of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Millennium Kingdom can be established and the, the two sticks can come together, the house of Israel and the house of Judah, and the house of Israel with the grafted in stick of the Gentiles, so that all and everything what the Lord has planned through the masterpiece of the end times will be fulfilled. Brothers and sisters, get ready now for the revelation of the new Judas Iscariot and the betrayal to Rome. Brothers and sisters, be blessed. Be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.